Hi, I'm Cheryl. I'm Glenn. And this is... Couple vs. Cardboard. Cardboard. And today we are reviewing... War of... <laughs> and today we are reviewing... War of the Ring. Dun, dun, dun. We decided to wake up very early for this review this morning because it was the only time that really made sense. This cat will not go away. It's not even our cat. Not our cat. War of the Ring. War one. of the Ring. Not, yeah. Not rings. Not, as I used no. to call it all the time. War of the Ring. Uh, and what is War of the Ring? Based in the trilogy, The Lord of the Rings by sure. J.R. Tolkien. Yeah, sure. Long and short, it's a war game. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Both sides are trying to accomplish or, or have play that is different from the other. Right. Both of their goals are different, too. If you are playing the bad guys... Shadow, which I typically do. Yeah, why? Then the way you win is through a military victory or by corrupting the Fellowship's um, task of taking the ring to Mordor. If you get the corruption of the ring bearers up to... 12, they lose. Right. Or if you get 10 military victory points. Yeah, 10 military victory points. The good guys, usually me, mm -hmm. um, you either want to destroy the ring by getting it all the way to um, Mount Doom, where it was forged mm -hmm. and can be destroyed, the one and only place, um, or by getting four military uh, points. Which that sounds really I mean, easy. It's really hard to get military victory with three people because uh, you just you have limited limited number of guys you can recruit. You have um, it takes longer to get them to war, like a bunch of stuff that makes it that uh, a difficulty. So I have a question. Okay. Who's who's in the shadow? Okay, so that yeah, the shadow is three nations. It's the Sauron, um, so that is Mordor and a few of the other places that he has some kind of, you know, vacation homes. Uh, and then Isengard, uh, which is Saruman, and it also is the Southrons and Easterlings, so sort of the evil kings of men, which kind of basically take up the eastern and then southern portions of the, uh, of the board of Middle-earth, of the Middle-earth board. Who are the... Um, free people. I thought you'd never ask. The North, which okay. are um, like you got like the Rangers and mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. The Dale. North people. Dale, yeah. exactly. Um, you have the Elves, obviously, mm -hmm. from Lorien, um, Woodland Realms and such. Grey Havens. Grey Havens. Rivendell. Yeah. Rivendell. The elves are my favorite. Okay. And then you've got the Dwarves, obviously. And uh, then Rohan and Gondor. One of the things that you do on your turn is you roll dice, and the dice say how many actions you get and what kind of actions you can you can take this turn. Mm -hmm. The shadow player's play itself is fairly straightforward. Um, you are, I mean, you are just trying to get ten victory points. The one thing that you have to to balance often is doing things like trying to correct the ring bearer because there's this temptation to just kind of try and blow through everything and, and sack a bunch of military sites. And generally speaking, that doesn't, it doesn't work to just do that. You have to also be um, working to corrupt the ring bearers as you go. Their cards, usually within the first two turns, will give you a good sense about where you should be kind of planning your attack. So even if I sack Gondor and Rohan, that's only eight points. So I'm going to need two points to come from somewhere else. Because places like the like Rivendell and Lothlorien are incredibly difficult to, to capture, not only because they uh, because breaking a siege is really hard, but also because... They're elves. And they're very powerful. <laughs> and because they come pretty fortified. Who's your favorite character from Lord of the Rings? Oh, gosh. I think it's Gandalf. I really like Gandalf. I think he has... Um, I like I like his self sacrifice, and I also think he is uh, just really cool. So, with the free people, you're balancing basically getting 
troops ready mm -hmm. um, and trying to move the fellowship on to Mordor. So, um, I mean, if you kind of get a sense each turn. Am I? Is this going to be a turn where I'm going to kind of just move the, the ring a ton or am I going to like bolster up some of my troops so that I don't I don't die to a military victory before I can destroy the ring. So yeah. it's a, definitely a balancing act. My favorite character is Lady Galadriel. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> of course it is. Why why Lady Galadriel? Um well, I think like I really appreciate her. I mean, she's just very perceptive. Obviously, she can like mm. re like enter into other people's minds. Yeah. But also, I mean, she's just like this kind of gracious and graceful, mm. uh, elegant kind of character. Yeah. Um, and you only see, you don't see a ton of her, but she like makes a huge impact on the fellowship success. A couple of the things that I would, I would say up front is that this game in general is, um, is probably the most complex game that we will I can imagine covering. It takes a little while to grab, get a hold of the yeah. rules. It has really some incredible replay value, yeah. and and I think if if you don't pull it out pretty um, with any kind of regularity, and then you're trying to get a sense of the game instead of developing more how you how you're going to play the game. This is a game with a great uh, deep theme, which obviously mm. we love, and so and a lot of people who love. Lord of the Rings can appreciate, and and the whole the whole way the game is set up really um, follows that story and in, in the whole. It, um, someone commented on on one of our posts that of the the Lord of the Rings games, it best does the overall feel of the the conflict of the battle, also the the tension of getting the the fellowship there. So just the overall story, which I love. Um, it's also super fun. Um, and uh, because of the mechanics of the game that you're super evenly matched and so it ends up being a really tense end and glorious victory when you uh, achieve it. So there it's it is. great. Super fun. One of our favorite games to play together. on the internet, you know, right? I know. I'm trying to be good. It's silly. <laughs>